Welcome everybody, How to Tech Studio here with a way of spoofing Pokemon Go on your Android devices. Yes, you heard that correctly, we are looking at Android devices only this time. If you're here for an iOS version, then go hit the links in the description for your spoofing needs. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and set up the notification bell to give the support to us and to get the latest stuff for you guys. Okay, as we go through this, we are going to show you how to get this Pokemon Go spoof on any Android device. There is no need to root your device, and this is completely free. We also have lots of different tutorials after you've got this, so check out the links in the description afterwards. This video is sponsored by Pokemon Go for Sale, the best place to go to get any accounts and single Pokemons that you may need. And they offer a variety of different accounts from a diamond to gold, to silver and to bronze of different levels for any ability. And you can also then go ahead and get lots of different Pokemon that you may need, shinies and certain IVs. And these are a really good place to go for all your Pokemon needs. We are also offering a 20% discount. So if you were to go and add one of these to your basket, you can then go on to apply a coupon and type in HTTS20 and click apply coupon for a 20% off anything on this site. So make sure you go ahead, check the links out in the description for Pokemon Go for sale. This is the place to go to for your Pokemon Go needs. So without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get this for you. We'll go ahead and get your device ready, show you how to install it and how to use its functions. So the first things you're going to need to do is I'm going to delete off any version of Pokemon Go you already have. So just click uninstall and uninstall any Pokemon Go apps you, you already have. The next thing you're going to need to do is then you can go to your Safari, uh, your Google, Google Chrome or whatever um, web browser you use. And you're going to go to pgsharp.com. That is pgsharp.com and hit go. All right, now the very th next thing you're going to need to do is obviously click download. As soon as you click download, then click download and it will start to download that file for you. If you click on details, this is where we're going to do the magic. So if you watch it downloading, then you can just basically wait for it to finish downloading. All depends on the speed of your internet connection. After you've got, got this, make sure you check the links out in the description on the best settings for PG Sharp and how to use it safely because Pokemon will start fleeing on you if you do not use it correctly. Okay, so check the links out in the description. They are very, very important. So after it has now been downloaded, you are then going to tap on it and then click install. Okay, and just wait for that to install. Again, shouldn't take too long, but we just need to wait for it to load onto our device. Again, when the latest version of Pokemon Go comes out, you'll need to do these steps again. So I'd recommend perhaps saving this video into yours or like it, and then you can revisit it when a new update from Pokemon Go comes out. But P PG Sharp update their APKs very regularly. So if you do update something, then don't worry, just go back and do these steps again. All right, so next thing you can do is you go ahead and click open and Pokemon Go will start to open and down the left hand side there you will see you have PG Sharp ready to go. So all you need to do is just log in as usual. If you set the age to um, over 18 then you'll have all your different options. So go ahead and log in. So I'm just going to log into my HTTS account just to show you that it works and put in your passcode as well. And then you can click on sign in. And there you'll see authentication succeeded. Welcome. OK, if that doesn't come up, then you may need to put in a username or sign up using the settings down this side. If it's the first time, I can't show you that because obviously my, my account has already been logged in, but it's free. All you need to do is just hit on the little star down the side there and use the correct instructions. It's really, really simple. So, and that is pretty much it, guys. Now, as I said before, we are going to have two other tutorials that you should use. Um, always allow only while using the app. That's how it spoofs. If you want to use photos, you can, but I'm going to deny that. And I'd like to see some notifications. That is fine. So, as I said, I would like to see people using the tutorials in the description on how to spoof correctly and how to set up the settings for PG Sharp, as they are not the most easy of things to use but once you get used to it you'll then get the flow of it 
very first thing I'm going to show you now, though, is to move the joystick around. It's a bit annoying at the top left there. So if you click and hold the two dots, uh, the two lines, and you can move it around to anywhere on the screen. I like to have mine in the bottom right. Now, this is my current location. This isn't spoofed at the moment. So head to the links in the description on how to teleport around the world, snipe Pokemon, and to get the perfect settings for your spoofing. So go ahead, check those links out in the description now, and I'll see you there very, very soon.